Hello beautiful people, welcome once again to the Nitro 101 channel. I am Bernice from Nitro.com and NitroOnline.etsy.com. If you are new here, hi, hey, hello, how are you doing? If you like what I do, you can give me some thumbs up at the end of the video and share with your friends as well. And also subscribing will be of a great help to me. So if you are not a subscriber to this channel, kindly consider subscribing to help me grow. Thank you in advance. Okay, so as I said in our previous video, today I'm working on a turban with a um, cotton fabric with a satin lining. And we are using the same um, pattern from the previous um, video just that there's going to be some few uh, changes but it's so simple you can keep up with it um so this is our pattern and this is the fabric i've break cut the fabric but i'm going to explain how we are going to go about it okay so because this is um a cotton fabric we are going to make it adjustable since it doesn't stretch like the other one so this is our 17 inches elastic and our toggle that we are going to use to um, adjust it so this is the top of the turban i use this pattern to cut it so if you want to get the pattern you check it it's, a, it's free in my facebook group you go to the file section um i'll link the group um below this uh, in the description below this video so you check it out you join the group you request you join and you have access to all the patterns for my previous videos they are free for commercial use so you can join my facebook group and have access to all those patterns and there are more on the way coming so you check it out the link is in the description below you can have access to this pattern and many other scrap cap patterns there as well i have more on the way coming okay so that is it so you cut this one will be the same i've cut the cotton and the satin lining and what you are going to do with this is um this is just going to be a little different from the other one as you see in the thumbnail photo so this is the the whole thing from the top to down is about eight and a half inches so what you are going to do is you're going to take two and a half inches from this one for it to be left with six inches so we are going to use the six inches to cut the brim for this one and what i did is because this is cutting i added about two inches so you can see two inches move two inches from the fold so that you can have a lot more space to go around the head since it's adjustable it will fit so you do you fold two and a half inches off this one for it to be uh, left with six inches then you move two inches away from the fold line then you have your pattern you cut it that is what you're going to use for the brim okay so and looking at the photo in the thumbnail you see that there are something like a belt holes this is what you're going to use this is three inches so you fold it in the middle you fold it in the middle you send this one to the center send it to the center and fold and stitch all the way down that is what you are going to cut to make the belt holes around the um upper part of the brim so that is it and th this is the belt we are going to use to tie to tie to put in the belt holes to tie around the head and we are going to have um one also made out of that plain black you can choose any other color that you want you can use any other fabrics just to add style to your turban okay so what you're going to do now is we are going to divide this into two exactly exactly into two so we are going to have three inches strips Okay, and also I'm nice sure 101 on all social media, so um, Facebook, uh, Instagram, TikTok, you can follow me there as well. It's the same nice sure 101. It's only Pinterest that I, I am nice Roy XX. So you can check me out on Pinterest. You see all the pins and a lot of nice day bands that I've saved there. That inspires me to sometimes do 
day. So what you are going to do is um for the I'm going to do the belt holes the 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 small strips then I'll come and place them then we move to the next step. Okay, so let me say this. If you don't have the pattern and you can't print it from my Facebook group, then this is what you can do. The radius for the fab, uh, for the circle is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 inches. So the diameter will be 14 inches. You use it to cut your circle. Then the this one will be about um, 3 inches by 28 inches. Two of them. 3 inches by 28 inches, you cut two of those strips. Yes, and if for the one you are going to use to make the belt holes, you can cut 3 inches by about 22 inches. When you cut, that should be enough. If you are the pattern person and you want the, stri uh, the pattern for this strip, um, it is in the main scrap cut pattern. So I will link it up somewhere on the top left or the top right of this video. So you can get that and cut. So what you are going to do is you are going to take one of the uh, uh, 3 by 28 inches strips and you are going to cut this just by the length, uh, sorry, by the width. Okay. Alright, what you are going to do is to... Um, eyeball it to let's um, demarcate the center we don't want a strap on the center line so we are just going to eyeball and distribute this evenly on it okay so we'll need six of that okay so three on this side and three on the other side. Mm. So let's quickly pin this ones down. Okay. So we have this one on this side and we are going to put it on the same side, you can see, on the same side, on the other side. Hold them down. Okay, so we have it down like this. Make sure it's straight. Then we are going to put right sides together. This is the right side, wrong sides. Okay, so right sides together for this one. And you are going to stitch along it. Make sure the straps are secured in there. Now, um, I've joined the two together. If you have your ruler, you can do You can straighten it or you can take it to the iron and straighten it out or oh, better still you can top stitch all on it whichever way works for you you can do it now we are going to take with the satin lining that I, I cut I didn't divide it into the straps you just leave the satin lining like that this the full six inches so what you are going to do is this side will be going to the top of the hat so you leave the side alone uh, it is You, you still hold them the things together with with the pin so that they will stay in place what you are going to do is the part that has no straps you are going to join this add this to it you are going to sew all along all along it okay so now i've stitched both pieces together now note with this one because of the straps in here when when you are stitching for this particular tab and make sure um you stitch half an inch away from the stitch line from the edge of the fabric we are trying to make sure that everything stays in place so i added the inches when you stitch half an inch away from it you end up with the correct size of brim using the three 
inch um, pieces okay so now that we have stitched what you are going to do is you are going to pull check the back you pull the SS to the side of the satin and you are going to stitch along very close to the stitch line that will make the satin lay down and when you turn it like this it will pull a little just a little fabric so that the satin wouldn't be out showing when you wear your um turban so i did the top stitch all to the end so when you fold you have a clean in here okay so what you are going to do now is we are going to put these ends together and what you are going to do is we are going to stitch we are going to stitch all the way through but because you are going to pull the toggle and elastic through what you do is you will stitch all the way from the main fabric to the end of the main fabric when you get to the beginning of the satin you leave one inch space before you continue to the end of the satin so this is up to the end end of the fabric so you make sure you can put a pin there so that when you get there you know this is the end of the main fabric then you leave one inch so you leave this space that is where we are going to pull the elastic out from so we stitch up to here we leave the space and we stitch up to the end so i finished stitching and we have a hole here you see it starts from the beginning of the satin to one inch away so we, we are going to put these two together so the brim is almost done and what you are going to do is uh, use iron it on the uh, on the cotton side or you use your ruler to go on it so that it will lay flat you make sure there's a tiny bit of the fabric to the satin side don't let the satin show unless maybe you personally want it to so you roll on it to make sure it is laying flat or you iron it the roller does the job as well okay so now this is the back and this is the front so we have it's laid down what you do is now you can peacefully cut the SS satin away okay okay so now after um, we've added our satin and trim off the SS you fold it uh, you 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 put it down like this um, with the straps showing and make sure the straps are down really well we are going to add our elastic what you are going to do is we are going to count a um, six inches from the back one two three four five six so where the six inch inch ends that is where we are going to put our elastic so one two three four five six so it will be right here you open and put it in between the satin and the and the main fabric what you do is you take it to the machine to stitch it down then you let it follow the same you make sure it's flat like that to the other side this is the back line then that one to six inches one two three four five six you see this one is showing it and in that order you open it you put it in between the satin and the main fabric the cotton fabric then you hold it down you pin it to keep it secured then you can take it to the sewing machine and stitch both down after you have stitched this side and the other side down put the elastic through the hole here and pull it out so that it wouldn't be in your way
okay so you see you can go ahead and add your toggle if that one wouldn't bother you okay we are not going to tie it for now we will stitch it down first so now make sure the elastic is close to this line so you take you take it to the sewing machine and this time round, from where you stitch you stitch about one inch away from the tip of the brim then you you stitch from this line all the way and always make sure that the elastic is out of your way you are not stitching on the elastic make sure the elastic is way deep inside there one inch away you stitch from one side where you stick down all the way to the other side just that one one inch away you stitch it down so as you can see we have created a channel for the elastic to be there safely okay so this is the wrong side so you put the wrong sides together and you pin it to make sure it's secured so they are pinned together to make sure working with it is easy now always remember when you cut your circle when you finish cutting before you open it you create notches on this on uh, on this side and on this side that will help you to align them correctly to the brim so the brim you know this is the back and this is the front you create a notch at the front to make sure that we know exactly where the front is you fold it once again and you create a notch on the side um, take make sure you have okay right now we know that the, these two straps are exactly on the middle of the side so we know that is the um, that will be our notch so that will guide us to um, pin it now in the previous video I used gathering at the front and the back I'll link the previous video on the top left of the top right it will pop up and if you search in my videos too you see the one that came right before this one you know it's um, a turquoise blue this is what I did in the previous video you know I did a gathering here you can choose to do the gathering or you can choose to do pleats since we are using the cotton I will prefer to do the pleats it will be a little much easier to do so what you are going to do is you are going to put the right sides together so let me turn this to the wrong side and make sure your um, your straps are in place so this is the back side and so I'm going to match one of the notches to the back then to the front and the side and side okay so now that we have the front front back and the side inside um, pinned down we are going to work our way from the side to the front and from the side to the back so the side to the front you lay it flat and pin it down and so what you do is you leave an inch and half away from the back the center back so you can measure an inch and half when you get there from the side you leave that so you do from the from the side to the front to from the middle part you leave from you leave one inch to uh, you leave sorry one and half inch away from the center front then you pin it down to that and leave the rest after pinning the side down you you get as a, you you be left with excess at the front and at the back at this point you can choose to pleat all of them down together the best way you can you see 
as you do this you hold them down with pins you you do it like this or you can check out the other the last video and see how i use the needle to to gather them and put them down then you can take it from there so i decided to do the guard uh, sorry the police who have placed everything down now from this point you take it the sewing machine and you stitch all around it okay so i finished stitching and i use the sager to go on it to be on the service side always make sure that you are stitching half an inch away from the line i created that enough um uh, allowance so that um you make sure you have everything in and everything is secured and remember i kept these the whole the the belt holes um stitch down uh, sorry pinned down from the beginning and when you are adding the top make sure every one of them goes in and you pin it down so that at the end of the day you wouldn't finish to find out that there are some still hanging out okay so now i can go ahead and remove the pins now that i know each and every one of them is secured in there i can go ahead and remove the pin and uh Turban is almost done. Now I can go ahead, pull this one, and tie the knot. So we have a satin line turban. Let me cut the scissors. Okay, beautifully satin lined. Now satin line is the best. Is the new thing. Everything should be satin line. We want to protect our hair. So this is it. Um. What you are going to do next is this is what is going to go in the strap. So this is about 44 inches. Um, then I curve both ends. It's a bit long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch all the way from here. When I get to the middle, I'll leave about an inch and a half. Then I'll stitch all the way to the end so that I can turn it inside out from this part. Okay, so I finish... Um, sewing and turning inside out this strap and i did a black one too now the thing is if these two con the contrast between them is high then it makes it really stand out well i'll be showing you what i'm talking about in a bit so always when you do it you can find something matching and contrasting at the same time so that the beauty of the reason why we created these um holes will come out really well so we are going to try it on my personal assistant damika and we'll see how to wear this and how it's going to come out so this is how um it's going to look you put the the main strap into the belt holes and you can tie it any way you want so this is how look and it really looks good the main thing is to make sure the strap and the main fabric have a great contrast so that the beauty will come out really well so let's have a look at the second one okay so if you use a solid color you see the straps show and the beauty is there so it's very important to have two contrasting colors so that it can bring the whole thing out really really well so let's have a look at another one so this is another way you can put your scarf in the strap that i used was about 44 inches by 5 inches and i stitched it and it, it became about um, 2 inches by 44 inches but uh, you can put anything once you can fit in the you can put it in there for it to look good you can leave it to, to be hanging you tie it at the back you can use your scarves and everything and it will look really good once i wrap up i say a big thank you to lashita's boma i hope i said your name right for the moral support when i put the community post you said you can't wait and that 
gingered me to go ahead and do it quick and put this one here so thank you so much and thank you to everybody that has joined my facebook group and those that have shown the work you've done so far is so amazing so um i have a lot of shout outs coming for all those people that are showing your work so i have les amigos work here is beautiful i have that of renee amazing i have that of Kayla, I can tell you, Auntie Kwa, I hope the baby is <laughs> she. All right, so keep it coming, and um, a lot of shout outs will be coming to you. Join the Facebook group, let's grow. A lot of good things are on the way, so stay connected. If you like this video, kindly give me some thumbs up and like, share, show, join the Facebook group, and show us what you are doing with the pattern so far. I will really appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you've not subscribed, kindly subscribe and help me grow this channel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of love and light to you all. Stay blessed.